Northwich Fire Station has recently taken delivery of the new command unit to be utilised by Cheshire Fire and Rescue Service. This vehicle is a modern bespoke vehicle that fully encompasses the technological demands on emerging incidents within the modern fire and rescue service. The vehicle takes approximately 15 minutes from the time of arrival to install, set up and be running to assist the incident commander. The vehicle requires to be set up on hard standing on a flat surface and the following dimensions should be borne in mind by the incident commander to allow for the efficient setting up. The vehicle width when fully deployed is approximately the same as two water ladders parked side by side. The length of the vehicle is approximately three meters longer than a Scania water ladder. The height of the vehicle when in transit is approximately 4.8 meters, but due to the ancillary equipment carried on the roof, this will increase to approximately eight meters when fully deployed. The vehicle is covered by two camera systems. The first being mounted to the vehicle on a telescopic boom that extends to a height of 4 metres above the level of the vehicle. This camera works through a 360 degree rotation and has a range of approximately 3 quarters of a mile. The second system is a body worn camera that will be deployed by runners from the command vehicle into the sectors to assist the commander even when the vehicle is parked remotely from the incident. All images captured by the camera are fully recordable and can be transmitted from the control unit remotely to other areas such as headquarters or silver and gold command. The control unit has two distinct areas of operation. The first of these is the command area which is utilised by the incident commander at the incident. This area benefits from a full panoramic aspect in the form of a large window down one side of the vehicle. This will give the commander a full appreciation and the real ground truth of what is happening at the incident. The first monitor displays the images captured by the CCTV equipment from the vehicle mounted mast and also the body worn camera. The second is a screen that covers the vector command support system that the incident commander can utilise to have a full appreciation of the assets and deployment at the incident. The second area is known as the operator's area. There are four individual workstations. These incorporate such systems as Vector Command Support Software, MDTs, Packset and Fireground Communications and Main Scheme Radio for a link to the control room. At this time, the crews trained to deploy and utilise this vehicle are from Northwich Fire Station with a view to upskill staff from Winsford Fire Station and Northwich on call establishment within the 2014 financial year. In line with service policy, the command unit has now been taken from the PDAs. Therefore, it is at the OIC's discretion as to whether the mobilisation and deployment of the command unit vehicle will be of benefit at the individual incidents.